Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik, Teaching and Learning Coordinator. Today's Active Tip is part two in the Marzano Research-Based Instructional Strategies. Today we're going to be looking at how you can use summarizing and note-taking with your Active Classroom. One of the first ways to do this is to use graphic organizers. One of the best things about using Listen Active Inspire is that you can create graphic organizers that you can annotate over and over and over again. Once you add annotations to this, talk across the hand, you could do who, what, where, when, why, or first, next, then, then, last. You could have students add to it and then save it or just clear it. So to create these shapes and the arrows together, I use grouping, where you highlight all the way around both objects and then select the one with two, with two squares inside another square. Here's another graphic organizer I created, the Somebody Wanted But So. I actually just took a screenshot of this from the internet. So here you can have students come up and annotate over this. Different students could participate. You could save it, or you can just clear the annotations for the next class. Another great way to use this strategy is to use note-taking where you cover the answers and then reveal them. So here's an example about, about some notes in biology. And I used the pen to cover up where the answers would be. And in the student copy, I left blanks. So now a student or the teacher would use the eraser tool to come up and reveal what went into that part of the notes. You can also create a Cornell Notes template where you can create a white blank space on the side of your notes. You could create this to be the whole flip chart and have students come up and add notes or highlight and annotate over your notes. If you wanted to amp it up, you could even have students use the learner response systems to send in their questions or the key ideas for each paragraph and then use Word Seed to add them into the Cornell template. The last thing I want to show you is using Word Extract. And Word Extract is an action that you can set up in the Actions browser. So here's an example of an article I took from Time for Kids, and I set it up already to use Word Extract. So now when I click on one of the words, it actually duplicates the word and makes another copy of it for me. You can use Word Extract to have students pull out the main ideas and create their own main idea sentence. If you accidentally pull it out twice, you can just delete it. So how did I set up this word extract? Well, first of all, I went into my browsers and I clicked on the Actions browser. And then I selected Extract Text. So now it's set up for an action and I can tell because when I hover my mouse over it, it has that blue arrow that shows it's an action. So those are some of the main ways that you can use summarizing and note-taking with your digital classroom. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. For further resources, check out our page at springboardmedia.com backslash Promethean.